Do ETB sleeves actually damage your Pokemon cards? Some members of the community claim that the sleeves that come with the Elite Trainer Box product actually damage Pokemon cards. I'm a little bit skeptical, so I put this to the test. Let's go see the results. Okay, so I did this a couple thousand times to see the potential wear on cards. And I got some interesting results. But first, let's go back. These are ETB sleeves. You probably have some. They come in all different designs. These are older ones. You can tell because they're glossy. They're a little bit sticky. Sometimes gold, sometimes silver. And these are new ones. They have a matte finish. So these slide a lot easier. And that's why they've done this. It's for shuffling decks because these ones are kind of sticky and tough to shuffle. This is the chosen one. This is the card I picked for the test. It's a reverse hollow, as you can see. Hopefully it'll help us see the scratches a little bit easier. And it's in pretty good shape. I think I pulled this from a booster pack and just put it aside a couple months ago. So, you know, the, the edges aren't perfect. The corners aren't perfect. As we've seen uh, quality in these cards sort of waver over the past few years, but it's otherwise pristine. There's a little bit of whitening on the right there, but other than that, the edges look really, really nice. So I'm going to pick, I think, the Celebration Sleeve because I have a lot of these and I think a lot of people will have a lot of these. And first thing I notice inserting the card is there's a lot of resistance. I'm actually pressing pretty hard and I don't like that. There's a lot of resistance on the bottom, even tapping it in place, it's, it's sort of there. And pulling it out, I can feel this resistance again. So after a few more tries, I've really narrowed it down to the bottom of the card here. The edges are tight as well. However, the bottom is super tight. Right here, it takes a lot of pushing to get the card down there. In fact, I actually have to push on the card to get it all the way to the bottom. And we don't want to be applying pressure to the top of the card like I am right here. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. One thing I noticed is that it, it does hold the card really well. And I suppose this could be beneficial, but it's a little bit overkill, I'd say. It's not falling out. Here I have a regular penny sleeve. Everyone's got these, or you should. And look at that, in and out, no problem. So I've been on a lot of forums and I've noticed a lot of Reddit posts sort of centering around sleeves and ETB sleeves in particular. A lot of people claim that they're going to damage your cards and digging into this, I really found a little bit of everything. People are saying it's gonna wear the edges, it's gonna scratch the surface, People are saying it's too tight. People actually say it's too loose as well, which I could not find in any of my ETB sleeves. And a lot of people just re refer to the ETB sleeves as being crap. And when they changed from the glossy finish to the matte finish, as I showed earlier, they actually also improved the quality of the sleeves. Players were reporting the sleeves tearing just after a couple of games and that's not happening anymore. So this is the grip I ended up going with. It's the index finger and thumb on the face. Yes, that's going across scratches. That's sort of why I chose it, but it's also just really, really easy to insert and remove the card. So I didn't film all of this. I think I did this around 2000 times over the course of a few days. It got really tiring. I didn't like doing it. <laughs> I probably lost count. So one thing I noticed is the sleeve really loosened up. It's really easy to just let the card sort of fall down to the bottom now, kind of like a regular penny sleeve. Another thing I noticed here was the outline of the bottom of the card was formed inside the sleeve. 
Upon further inspection, I did find that this was made up of small particles coming from the card, which is interesting, but the bottom edge ended up being chipped. And we'll look at that in just a moment here. I think that's what this is from. So we also have a lot of scratches on the hollow, right there where my thumb was resting. And I tried rubbing these off because it kind of just looked like, like rubbing marks, but they're for sure scratches. They're not too deep, but they're there. And you can see it's, it's from my thumb. So just as a general rule, you should be gripping the sides gently with your index finger and thumb, not the back and face of the card. Hopefully that's common sense. Uh, let's look at the edge here. You can see there's a lot of wear, especially here. This is the chipping I was talking about. And this is for sure from the tightness of the sleeve. Those marks on the right there were already there. And you can see the top is actually the worst. And this is from me. This has nothing to do with the sleeve. Well, you could argue that the resistance uh, causes me to have to apply more pressure. But that's it. I mean, we really screwed up this card. Uh, this isn't lightly played. Moderately played, maybe. I would say heavily played. There's a lot of damage on this. One thing you can do is insert a card into a inner sleeve, pro fit, ultra fit, wh whatever it's called, whatever you call it, and then put it into an EB EBT sleeve. And this should save the edges. Uh, in this case, the top is still exposed. So what you can do for that is you can actually invert the card into the sleeve or just put it in upside down. And this is going to make sure all four edges are covered from basically the exterior environment. But I am still a little bit skeptical about this bottom edge, which is now exposed to that really tight part of the sleeve. So I don't know about that, I guess. I pulled out the camera microscope here, so let's have a closer look. And I just want to say this is probably a good time to drop a like if you like the video. If you find this kind of thing useful, I do occasionally actually post videos, so there will be other stuff like this. On the left we have the before of the bottom edge, and on the right we have the after. You can see that chipping close up now. I believe this is what contributed to that outline in the sleeve. Now it's not too bad, but it's not the worst. Uh, as we move around the card, we can see a lot more wear. The chipping is pretty bad, but the corner is pretty gnarly. We took a lot off of the corner. And as we go down the long face of the card, we do see occasional chipping again. Oh, this is the top edge here, and that's from my index finger. So that's by far the worst damage on this card. And remember, that was after a couple thousand insertions. On the left, we have the hollow surface before and after on the right. You can see there's a lot of very, very fine scratches there. And I think those are just sort of moving around inside kind of going back and forth, but we can see these long up and down scratches as well. And those are from my thumb. On the non-hollow surface, I don't see anything. It looks really good. So that's it. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, what do you think about ETB sleeves? Let me know in the comments. If you have any feedback, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate that. And if you don't want to leave anything in the comments, then thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you next time.